to stand up against the poison of white supremacy, as I did my inaugural address to a single out as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland, is white supremacy. And I'm not saying this because I'm at a black HBCU. I say it wherever I go. You heard the reaction to that wow. statement. I, I think even for the students that were present there at Howard, everyone, because it was so naked, could see what an obvious pander. Yeah, he said the battle is never... I saw this few days ago. I wanted to do a video about this, but I said no. I came across some videos where they pick up similar talking point like what he just said here. I came across some videos. This lady says white culture is white supremacy. I don't understand why this keep happening every single day. Hey, it's me, 82, says, wow, I'm a follower and I've always supported you. Way to lump us all in together, sad. Yes, I agree. It's sad that you've been following me and haven't learned anything from my content. The question asked in the other video was, what is white culture? Because a white commenter stated that white culture is a thing. You don't want to identify with white culture. White culture is white supremacy. White culture is not being French, not being Russian, Ukrainian, Swedish, you know, uh, English, so on and so forth. Because anyone of any color can be French, Swedish, Russian, Ukrainian. That is not white culture. White culture is white supremacy. Because what is black American culture? Where does it stem from? Racism. Slavery. Jim Crow. That's where black culture stems from. I would much rather say, oh, my Nigerian culture. My, you know, Panamanian culture. My Dominican culture. My Kenyan culture, not my black culture. What disturbed me the most with these people, what do they actually gain in causing segregation amongst people? You want to talk about culture, white culture, you have immediately picked up the same talking point, like the president, white supremacy. I don't know if some people cannot actually change their mind in causing some of this problem we are facing today. You will see someone that has never experienced racism on a single base, but can stand up on TikTok to do insane videos like this. It is like they know a lot. But when I watch the video to a certain learn, I will just conclude they don't know anything. I want you to know you told after watching this video, there is another one. Oh, why? I identify with that. And it's not because I had a choice. It's because my ancestors were forced to create their own culture because they were all plucked from different places and, and forced to start over. That was a result of white culture, something you should not identify with at all. But just know that your knee-jerk reaction should tell you that you need to spend less time commenting and more time journaling. Yes, for over one year, I avoided topics that relate to race because I believe that if I continue to do videos, react to clips, talking about race, it's like I'm not solving the problem, I'm causing it the more. Because the more we stop talking about this, that is the beginning of the solution. So I took up the decision to avoid anything relating to race. When I saw this, I could not resist the video because it triggered me, you know, to see that black people keep picking up this talking point every single day. I'm not refusing that there is nothing like racism. If you have a leader, like Joe said at the beginning of the clip, that is spreading this kind of, that is spreading this kind of message you will see 
what is happening on all social media platforms. This is a result. They keep recycling these talks every day. Reasons it can never stop. Not elegant. Also, notice the styles that she picked as not elegant. Two of them in particular, the Afro puffs and the Bantu knot, are cultural styles. So what is she saying about black culture when she thinks two of the three of our styles aren't elegant? Like we care though. Elegant. What the hell are you driving down that you think this is your lane? I need some of y'all to go get your girl. No. Not elegant. Elegant. Can black people just have one day where y'all leave us the hell alone? For real, like, can we just have 24 hours where we're allowed to just exist without having to deal with some ignorant bull from y'all? And of course you turn the comments off because that's what y'all do. Accountability? Pfft. No way. Y'all don't even know what that word means. This is exactly why sometimes it really feels like we ain't never gonna be free. I see that your video is no longer up. I don't know if you took it down or it got removed, but either way, you owe the black community an apology expeditiously. You said in your comment section that you would not be apologizing because you were trying to be inclusive. I don't know, maybe our definitions of inclusivity are different because when I'm trying to be inclusive, I don't perpetuate harm to the community I'm trying to include. Either you are completely ignorant to the ways in which black people and black women specifically have historically been and continue to be policed for their natural hair, or you are aware and you made the video anyways. So which is it? Every hairstyle that you showed in your video was beautiful. Since when are Bantu knots not elegant? Styled puffs can't be elegant? Also, who are you to decide what elegant is, especially when it comes to black hair? You are so far out of your lane. Please take the exit. Every single style that you showed not only requires a great amount of skill and time, sometimes hours to execute, but is also a hell of a lot more intricate and elegant than that low ponytail that Yes, if you don't understand what is happening here in line with what I said, the cultural wars between black and white is just escalating every single day. When you take a look at this video, you see the fight erupting between black people on TikTok and some white even coming, you know, to go after this white lady who stood up to say something about black hells. I think I'll do a full video about this so to throw more light on what is happening. I'm here to make the world a better place. So when I see a situation like this, I need to give more light so people should understand what is happening. I'm not here to create divisions. 